Good morning, YouTubers. Uh, I'm working on a Ford 600 uh, the hydraulics. We thought messed up. The arms, buddy of mine was box blading. Uh, said he heard a loud pop and the arms went straight up in the air, picked the box blade up, wouldn't let it down. So didn't know if it was a control valve or what it was. Anyway, this is a Ford 600. Brought it to me. See what I could find. I started researching on how to check the control valve on a Ford 600 because I had never worked on that part of the transmission or hydraulics. So I read a lot of online stuff. Excuse me for my video. I'm doing this by hand. So read a lot of online stuff and everybody I read about telling you how to get the control valve, all the instructions were wrong. Uh, there is no plate to look at your control valve. However, when you take the seat plate off, there is absolutely nothing to unhook, okay? All you have to do is unbolt the seat plate. I'll show you that in just a minute, and it lifts straight out of there, all right? Down inside your transmission is just a shaft and your oil and your hydraulic fluid. Nothing else in there. So the myth about look under the plate there's a plate under the seat uh, you can take the control valve out that's that's not even possible if you'll look back here i've raised the seat plate i actually painted it while i was messing around waiting on a part got it all cleaned up there it is i just got a little hoist lifted it up you can actually lift these off by hand uh, they're not that heavy but you know i'm getting old and i don't want to do that so here's the situation so you're right here on the back there's supposed to be a spring and a hook uh, hooks up to the back of your tractor comes out big spring bolts onto the back it's got a uh, adjustment screw on to tighten your draft it's a draft rod that broke when this draft rod broke it told the hydraulics to lift the lift and it had no other choice but to lift. So that's what went wrong with this tractor. Now I'm going to show you uh, as best I can with what light I've got the underside. This is the underside of this panel when you take it off. I'm sorry I don't have more light, but. Uh, this is the underside. There's your piston. Uh, springs for your controls. Um, trying to see if I can show you where the actual control valve comes out at. This is the housing here. And I know this isn't a good video and I apologize. I will say this though, see this plate on top of this right here where that bolt's at to my chain? That's the plate everybody told, tells you to take off and you can screw the control valve out. There is a valve right underneath this. So I will say that could be it, but it doesn't fit the description of one and it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen. So I'm not going to say it isn't there, but it isn't like anything I've ever seen. There's a bolt here. Don't even know what it goes to. My goal today is just to show you what it looks like and that it will come off and you can work on it. So, my apologies for my inexperience, but if you're turning a wrench and don't really know what's under something or in something, it's nice to know that you're not going to tear something up getting it off. And there, really, that was my goal today was just to show you that uh, <clears throat> you're not going to tear this up by taking it off it'll lift straight up every part on it is serviceable can you see that lift piston there a little better in the arm there you go it's only a couple of valves in there if you do have to replace something uh, you can take the plate off take that valve out uh, your piston for your control arms right there for your lift arms it's totally rebuildable comes right out pull that cotter pin right there and pull your piston out so it's easy Simple parts, nothing hard. 
that was my goal today, just to show you it's it's serviceable, but there is no magic plate to take off that reaches up under anything. It's not like a Ford 8 in or a 9 in where it's in the belly. Everything is in this housing, and it's all very easy to get to. So Ford 600 hydraulic lift arms. Arms went straight up in the air when he heard a pop. That's because this uh, draft rod broke that this spring is on, and it was just laying there, so you really couldn't tell it was broke. So that's something to check. If your arms won't go down, check that uh, that draft rod and make sure it didn't broke and it has lost its tension. So there you go, Ford 600, seat plate removal, no problems. Thank you. Have a good day.